You said people sleeping on Ryan Garcia, man. What's what's up with that? Yeah, man. I think people sleeping on Ryan, and I don't think people realize Ryan came up fighting the Shakurs and fighting the Haney. Like honestly, he's not too far behind them. It's just that he didn't take the opportunity to focus on his craft. And just to give my two cents, I believe he was possibly making more money through his social media than he was with fighting. And now, see, in hindsight, I think that he had an issue and he didn't really trust his team. So I think that may, you know, have affected how serious he was taking this. And then, like, he wasn't making no whole bunch of money with Oscar and whatever they was doing with the contract and whatever. So I think he played a part in it. But I think when he got that take payday, he might have realized, like, oh, shoot, like, what he was missing. So I think the truth is Ryan has a big enough fan base and a big enough following that he could take these big fights, make big money, still lose, as long as he looks decent in the fight and continue to get the big money fight because he's a payday. And if he's moved correctly, he could become, I know this is going to be controversial, one of the faces of boxing. Yo, manager Marty, how you doing, brother? We can't hear you, Marty. You're on mute. Oh, can't hold, hear on. You. Hold, hold on, Prince. I was trying to ask one question, and I'll give you an introduction. Hold on. So do you think uh, two cents? Band up said no, but do you think that he won? He won in, in good fashion Saturday night. Do you think that um, Ryan Garcia is eligible of fighting the winner of Regis Progress and Devin Haney since they all will be competing at 140? This is the thing with Ryan that I think people are looking over. That was more of a showcase fight for Ryan to be able to display and show what he's been working on, to be able to display and show his dedication and kind of gain back the trust of his fan base. And so, no, I don't think he should fight the winner. I think possibly maybe he should fight the loser of that fight and continue to build and work and, and with his skill and the improvements that he's making with Derrick James. And maybe another two, possibly three fights, and then we should start being like, okay, Ryan, it's time to step it up. All right, good point. That's, that's, good that's point. my two cents. All right, good point, good point. Uh, Prince Benzo, this is your first time on the panel, sir. Uh, yes, it is, sir. Welcome to the Roll Take Podcast. But I, but I've been listening to you for a while, so it, it's it's the first time I come up here. But I've I've listened to you for a bit. Appreciate it. I appreciate your viewership. And this your Benzo that been trolling me in the chat. That's you, Benzo. You've been trolling me in these chats. What do you mean? You've been trolling me in these chats. Was you on outlet trolling me yesterday? Mm, uh, no, nah, that must be some other Benzo. I'm Prince Benzo. There's another dude out there that, that has the same name, Benzo. Oh, okay, be careful, okay. she might roll the tape. <laughs> nah, I, was just, I, just, I just was asking. But we, we good, though. We good. I'll just ask. Yeah, yeah. So, Prince, what, what brings you up today, Prince? Speak on it, my brother. Well, you know, uh, you know I just think uh, it's an interesting conversation about what's going on with Ryan and, and this fight and stuff and where, you know, we're what people think, you know, he, he ought to do in the next year, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I, I think it brings some, some excitement, and I'm just curious to hear other people's perspectives, you know what I'm saying? Well, let's start with this, Prince. How about you give us your perspective on Derrick James? We've seen Ryan Garcia uh, on footage training with Derrick James. Mm -hmm. um, of course, he had Derrick James in his corner uh, Saturday evening. Do you think that this is a good fit for Ryan Garcia? Um, him and Derek James, what's your take on the relationship, trainer, fighter dynamic with uh, Garcia and Derek James? Yeah. Um, well, I think one of two things needs to happen. I think uh, either he, uh, Derek James, plays a role of like uh, authority and you know um, and 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 leadership and 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 takes control over the young dude. You know what I'm saying? Because Ryan Ryan's still immature. We still haven't seen from him 100% commitment to his to his craft. You know what I'm saying? So kind of a not a father figure, but some some level of authority, someone that can keep him on you know in check and stuff. You know that would be really good for him. Or 
Ryan needs to step it up and really take his 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 craft seriously, and uh, and and then uh, you know work you know work work that route. In either case, I th I think it's a good matchup between them, you know. But but again, I, I a lot of it depends on you know what what Ryan's going to do because going to the gym three three four days a week, you know, pre preparing for a fight and stuff, and some of the stuff that we've heard of him, about him is not the first time, you know, Goosen and stuff that we hear. What, what's going on with him in his head when he's pre preparing for a fight. You know, we, we also got to remember when he was training with Canelo, you know, some of the narrative that came out of that camp, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, this is the second time. So we're on a third time here now. So, you know, we, we really need to see this dude step it up because I think he has all the talent. I think he has all the talent. Um, you know, he needs to work on his fundamentals, but, you know, it's going to take a great trainer to get this kid in line and stuff, you know, um, and maybe he can compete up there at 140 with the best. Well, he's already been being labeled one of the four kings. Mm, you're talking like, about you're talking about at 135. Well, I mean, they're saying the four kings have moved up to 140 now, so he's he's just not too far behind these guys, man. He just needs to get more focused, like you said. I agree. Well, to be honest with you, I'll, I'll be straight out on this. Like, I, I wouldn't label any. I don't think any of those guys have, have any of them have have earned the title king. Because to me, you know, um, in order to deserve the title king, in in anything in life, you you need to be the type of person that's going to take on challenges. And I don't think any of these guys have have fought have fought each other. I mean, with the exception of Teal and Haney. Who, who fought Loma? Who's who's the only one that 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 was uh, regarded as a you know top notch fighter? And you know obviously he's not in his prime. But those two dudes took the challenge on taking on Loma. But Shakur and, and Tank, in my opinion, you know they, they still haven't they still haven't fought each other. I mean none of these guys have crossed paths. So I, they're still they're well, still Tank, Ryan and Tank fought. Yeah, but I don't I don't consider Ryan uh, like you know top top. Uh, in, in the top of that group. And, and I didn't consider him before he fought Tank. You know, he has too many that's flaws. Exactly the box. So, so why is, kind of okay, so why if, if, why is he, he considered for anything after he fought Tank? Because uh, I don't think, I don't think he's too much after he fought Tank either. Keep it a stat. So what does Ryan need to do then? R Ryan needs right. to work on his fundamentals. Like he, uh, he uh, yeah. From in my personal perspective, I don't think Ryan has the and what off the eye test. I don't think he has a complete punch package, and I also don't think his feet are very smart. Kind of what I was getting to with Marty. Like it's and like when when an, when an opponent puts you in a certain predicament, it like so you uh, so like Sean Porter. You know how like when Sean Porter. He gets like if he's and his back is in a corner, he can literally at a snap of a switch put you in that corner. You know what I mean? Because Sean Porter's foot placement is so key. You know what I mean? It's kind of hard working around Sean Porter. Ryan has zero of that, and he needs to work on that so to put him in a better position. What about the perspective that Ryan has zero of that? He doesn't have the fundamentals and all the things you say he doesn't no, have. No, no, no. But he was able he to have. achieve the things that he has achieved even without all of that, right? If you I, if you look at it from that perspective, then it's kind of like, okay, well, this kid probably got something. He just needs to do X, Y, Z. Yeah, 